Ever found yourself tangled up in the English language, trying to figure out whether it's affect or effect, fewer or less? Well, you're not alone. English, with its rich vocabulary and nuanced grammar, often leaves even the most seasoned speakers scratching their heads. So let's dive into the realm of commonly misused words. These are words that, due to their similar spellings or sounds, often trip us up in conversation and writing. Our first pair of culprits, affect and effect. Affect is usually a verb, meaning to influence or make a difference to something. For instance, the weather can affect your mood. Effect, on the other hand, is generally used as a noun, referring to a result or an outcome, like in, the effect of the storm was devastating. Next up, we have fewer and less. Fewer is used when referring to items that can be counted like fewer apples or fewer cars. Less, however, is used for singular mass nouns like less time or less money. Moving on, we have farther and further. Farther refers to a physical distance like the shop is farther down the road. Further, on the other hand, is used to indicate a metaphorical or figurative distance like we need to look further into this matter. The fourth pair to tackle is lie and lay. Lie is an intransitive verb, meaning it does not require an object. For example, I need to lie down. Lay is a transitive verb requiring an object, like in lay the book on the table. Our fifth duo is principal and principal. Principal can be a noun or an adjective, referring to a person who has controlling authority or a leading role. Principal, however, is always a noun, meaning a basic truth or law. Next, we have complement and complement. Complement with an E refers to something that completes or enhances another thing. Complement with an I is a polite expression of praise or admiration. Finally, we have disinterested and uninterested. Disinterested means impartial or having no personal involvement. Uninterested, however, simply means not interested or indifferent. So, to wrap up, remember, affect influences, effect is an outcome. Count with fewer, measure with less. Farther is physical distance, further is metaphorical. Lie down without an object, lay something down. The principle is your pal, but a principle is a truth. Compliment completes, compliment flatters. Disinterested is impartial, uninterested is indifferent. With these in mind, you'll be well on your way to avoiding these common English pitfalls. After all, the beauty of language lies in its precision, and using the right word at the right time is a skill worth mastering.